first and foremost, our all-time favorite, coffee. Kopi, right? All-time favorite. I'm going to tell you which coffee that you should avoid and which coffee you should be going for if, in the event, you guys would still like to drink coffee, the powder forms, which is the instant coffee like that, where you can just mix in there. This is the no-no. Okay, now what you want to look out for is really full coffee beans. Everyone, type in that. Full coffee beans, right? It's whole coffee beans, right? It's full or whole coffee beans, depending how you want to call it, right? This is what you want to look for. Number two, concentrated apple juices. By all means, avoid any of these apple juices. The third, fake food, nut milk. Some people tell me, I've been drinking nut milk my whole life and you know what? I'm gaining weight. Maybe I should just switch back to full cream. So what I did was I went to the supermarket earlier as usual. Okay, and now everyone, for those of you who are switching to dairy-free, you're going for plant-based milk, right? There are many, there are oat milk right now, there are almond milk, there are cashew milk. Now, I just want to take an example here of this brand, okay? Um, and this is an almond milk, all right? Now, what I've done is that I've also taken a picture on the back of the, of the label, all right, to show the ingredients. As a revival, I'm sure all of you know, I've always shared with you guys, look at the label. Now, these are the nine ingredients available there. Out of the nine, the only thing I colored green is probably the real thing, right? Which is the sea salt. Now, but let's, let's remind ourselves, everyone, what is this milk? Everyone, what is this milk? Type in there. Thank you, almond. Now, tell me, is that a joke when the almond is only 3%? How many of you find that this is a joke? You're paying a 790 nut milk and it only contains 3% of nuts. The next one, all right, what is that, everyone? Oh, pasta. How many of us here are pasta lovers? Truffle oil is fake. 85% of brands selling truffle oil out there, and they are not cheap, right? It goes the range of Singapore dollars of 20 plus up to 40 plus. Uh, the last one I saw, it was 50 plus. It comes in different forms. This is one of the premium ones that I saw. It is a product of Spain, and in fact, it was retailing at $35. Extra virgin olive oil and truffle aroma. Truffle aroma, what? It's not even truffle, it's freaking aroma, right? What is truffle aroma? I don't even know. It's been highly processed, it's fake, right? So it's the other ingredient that you will all likely find is what? Truffle essence, fake, right? The other one is truffle flavorings. Remember everyone earlier I said, if anything that has the word natural flavorings or flavorings, it, it can be up to 97% of other ingredients. You only require 3% of that true ingredient. So maybe they just add a slice of truffle, that 97% is all fake, right? So here you are, you're pay, paying premium. Premium thinking that you're enjoying truffle oil. Let's go to fake food number five, pepper. Always get the whole pepper. You can basically now, it comes very conveniently. You can just, you know, grind it on your own. You can pound it on your own. Now, first and foremost, why do I not recommend pepper in this format as white, black, you know, or peppercorn? Because first and foremost, this is mixed. It's mixed with, again, fillers. Fillers like what? You have some corn, you have some sticks, which is stick scraps, right? Literally, it's allowed up to 5%, guys. 5% and they are mixed with a whole mumbo jumbo. 